Okay, a quick video on making a uh, homemade kettlebell or T-bar. Uh, the tools you need as opposed to what a uh, cheap kettlebell would look like that you buy at Walmart. When I say cheap, it's still 50 bucks for 35 pounds. Uh, the better bet is to make a homemade T-bar, which I'm going to show you here right now. Uh, here's the tools that you will need. You get those at Home Depot. And then you just get some cheap weights. Uh, either uh, plastic ones or uh, metal ones and I got these for uh, I think $25-$30 for 100 pounds of weight um, shown here only 50 pounds um, or you uh, can go buy a 55 pound kettlebell for 150 bucks from you know Russian kettlebell company um, I'll prefer the uh, the first method here using the the T-bell Special thanks goes out to Tim Ferriss and uh, Four Hour Body for uh, you know showing me this. Uh, basic tools you will need is you'll see one long pipe. That's a three quarter inch, twelve inch long uh, uh, steel uh, pipe you get in the plumbing aisle. You will need two four inch uh, by three quarter uh, three quarter size uh, pipes. Those are for the handles. You will need a uh, a uh, T connector if you will and you will need a uh, floor flange uh, uh, again all three quarter inches so they all uh, uh, they all uh, go uh, harmoniously together if you will um, last thing you have there is a, a spring clip uh, that's to put on the top of the weight so they don't go flying off uh, I'll uh, put it all together now and then I'll show you what it looks like uh, completed okay MacGyver's back and this is what the uh, completed uh, T-bell would look like uh, obviously between that floor flange and the spring clip would be where those weights would be placed. You uh, unscrew the top of it, put the weights on, and, um, and you're ready to go. I'll take a last picture for you of it with the weights on there, but just so you can see, uh, you know, you got the floor flange at the bottom, which would keep the weights from sliding off the bottom. Uh, you put the weights in there, and then you got the spring clip that goes on top of the weights and you got your handle uh, in order to do your two-handed uh, kettlebell swings again uh, much cheaper than going to the store and buying a kettlebell and, and or ordering online and having it shipped as the cost of shipping alone uh, to send you 50 pounds of an object is about the same price that it costs you to make this at your local Home Depot or Lowe's um, so again hope this helps and uh, happy workouts Okay, the completed version. Uh, this is using two 15 pound plates and two 10 pound plates. So 50 pounds, uh, you can use 25 pound plates and get there a little bit quicker. That's why I uh, don't have quite as much room at the top. Uh, again, if you're smaller than five foot seven, five, 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 six, uh, you may want to use a eight to 10 inch uh, bar rather than a 12 inch bar. Um, but other than that, you're good to go for your uh, your T bar, your homemade uh, homemade kettlebell to do your two-handed kettlebell swings. Uh, thanks, and hope this helps.